Welcome. Here we go. Excuse my ratty hair here. It's getting a bit longer. But um, finally, got a day out in the wheat belt. Um, this is day one for me, and it's uh, and it's February, which is um, pretty crazy. Expect more days like this. But anyway, this is the best setup day that we've had this season, and um, just sort of taking advantage of a bit of a mental health day. It's been pretty full on with work with me um, in the last couple of weeks, couple of big fires, um, some pretty ridiculous fire behaviour um, with some warm temperatures and an unprecedented um, amount. We had uh, four level threes, which in the fire scheme of things is the highest level we can get to. We had four of those pretty substantial fires through the Southwest Land Division that lined up with some catastrophic conditions. So. Um, I was on air attack, which, you know, I run the operation of the, uh, or coordinate the aerial operation of any uh, firefighting efforts that we have. And, um, yeah, I got pushed and shoved around, I guess, the southwest, going to different incidents. And um, it's, it's been pretty full on. So um, I've taken a day just to sort of recoup and what other better place to sort of come out and reset. And, and it sort of just lined up with a day like this. It um, it's kind of disappears and moves a long way to the east from tomorrow, which is a lot further east than what I can be able to get out to, but it's kind of just lined up really nicely. So all that health, mental health and stuff aside, um, I don't like to harp on about it, but it is very important um, to get that reset. Away from that, we've got a um, incredible potential set up here today, um, easily as I touched on before, probably the best setup that we've had all season. So we've got this beautiful trough line just off inside the west coast at the moment and um, if you can just see behind me that's facing out to the southeast and out to the east. We've got um, all this potential, um, huge convective potential today and it's already starting to build up. It's only just gone half past one and um, in behind me to my northeast there's nice towels starting to go. We'll look out here, behind there you can see Right up here, there's some beautiful towers, and I swing back around again, and um, look at that. Not too much to really see, too much there, but it's certainly a great big CU field. Um, it's looking really good, it's looking really nice. So, anyway, I'm just stoked to be out here. I really just enjoy the weather and what Mother Nature's got to throw at us. I've slapped on a lot of sunscreen, I've got the hat in the car as well and um, already a bit of rain falling a couple of those CUs. So let's go for a good day. It's going to be fun. Let's go enjoy Mother Nature. We're now about um, 35, 40 kilometres south of training. But there's certainly this thing, that's what I'm going to worry about. So that whole line coming down from um, the Wongan Hills area heading towards us. And the other place I want to look out for here, always got to be careful crossing these roads, is, um, oh, it's going to be, I can't really get in there because there's a fence line. Right, look at that. Sweet, so you can see these ones now, these are developing out to our west. We're going to go for these ones. There's another whole line of storms right out to the east, but they are miles away. I just saw a bolt of lightning came out of there, but they're, they're, they're miles. It's bricked my interest a little bit out that way. But anyway, these are a lot closer, as you can see. Beautiful bases on them. They're developing as they're coming closer as well. So what I'm going to do is that we'll go west along this road here, travel south. Then back west, another little crossroad through the wheat belt. This is the one good thing about the wheat belt. So many of these crossroads all around the place. The only negative thing is that most, most of them are gravel. So you get a bit of rain, you've got to be really careful uh, driving on them. So uh, four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive cars, highly recommended. Definitely not your two-wheel drives. So we'll get going and we'll go see this one. Yes! That we head in that direction. Right in through there. I think that's probably the place to be. Might have come just a little bit further, further east than what we needed. We're kind of in a bit of a, a slot here. Having said that, right behind us, 
as, as we're just facing as well. Um, in here, they're getting a couple of nice little flat bases as well, but they're not, they're not billowing up. They're not billowing. They get to like mid-level and then they just sort of peter out. So we'll just wait and see what happens. Yeah. that's just to my west, so just to my right. And then also um, a couple of really big liner cells just to the left of screen there, um, as well as to the south of me. So we're in a pretty good spot, I think, into the evening. I'm just trying to find a location now. We've got sunset for another two and a half hours, but I'm gonna start thinking where you wanna be positioned for that phenomenal light that company sunset you know so I'm not sure if we're going to get too many colors because the horizon is a bit obscured by the storms way out to the west the other area that I'm thinking of is to our southeast from here and it's the windmills so the big wind turbine station that is um, just southeast of Meriden and I've always wanted some shots of lightning over mills like that so let's see what happens just all still trying to find a good vantage point where we're going to be able to see those you'll be able to see them start to come in frame probably now they're right on the horizon they're only about five k's away from here i've been the wide angle lens you might not be able to see it but they're just to the left of that rain shaft so it's directly in front of the car and as we get closer whoa, there we go hopefully hopefully got that one on camera you just watching this one as well just behind us now just to our right hand side it's got a really nice really nice defined rain whoa lightning straight down the middle of the road as well the one out to my right i haven't seen any bolts out of it yet but it certainly has potential in there um let's go to this one to the south i think we're only got about 10 k's to go So we've made our way out to um, south of Meriden. This is the site that we have. Look at that. Beautiful cell. Just watching this one above us as well. That's hitting there. So I'm just got my camera set up. 645 with the Myops trigger. And uh, that one over there was firing a few bolts as I was driving towards it, but standard uh, for me is that uh, they would uh, stop firing as I rocked up. Standard stuff. Anyway, we're in a pretty good position for sunset. Um, I have the windmills behind me, which I'm pretty wrapped about. If you look out behind here, right in there, all the windmills. So. The storms will be firing down this line most of this evening, I'm hoping. And um, just as I swing across, there's a bolt happened just down there. So we'll see. I'm hoping for a bolt out of that. And uh, my frame at the moment is out here, to pretty much down that line. So uh, let's hope that there's a bit of action. Now my lens, thankfully, is uh, facing away from the sun, got facing away from the rain, and um, the rain's to our back, which is nice. So I'm hoping there's going to be a couple of little bolts out of this, which would be lovely. I like a better composition here, but it's just uh, just using the cloud really. So what we do have is that we can see all of that, which is wicked. I lift them up. Oh, hello. You don't get to see my eyes too often because I have the glasses on. What you might do is just let that run for a little bit 
and we'll wander across over here and show what the composition could be as the night wears on. Swing in behind me. All the horizon is full of, um, of windmills, which is going to be quite delicious. I think, oh, <laughs> there's gonna be a rumble in a second. I'm gonna face this. Don't face my ugly mug. That's the sky, see? So that's the shot I've got at the moment. We're just gonna watch this for the next hour or two. And if it fires up to my... Oh, nice bolt. In front of my car here. Oh, hear that thunder. And that smell. The Perecta smell. I think it's Perecta. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'm probably pronouncing it 100% incorrect. Well, I have found out since then that it's actually Petrichor. There you go. My fantastic English continues. But that is just awesome. Hear that rumble. Just so good. Nice to be out of here. Good reset. All right. It was a CG just on the other side of that field. <laughs> There's going to be some close bolts. Beautiful bolts out of that. Shall wait and see what's happening here. It's going to be happening. Let's go. Hey mate, how you doing? Good. I just met the farmer who actually owns this property, he came up to the hill here. He's um, checking out any potential smokes. I thought we had, but this is what we have. This beautiful structure of that all the way, all the way up there. Right up behind us here. Got this beautiful, this beautiful structure coming through now. Got the 645 all set up and that's filming, hopefully capturing images of the uh, of the windmills. All right, so we got some awesome rain coming through. There's a heap of rain from a cell out to my east. That's bucketing down. And I've got this one here. Oh, has it got to get here beforehand? I don't know. Look at that. That is spectacular, isn't it? Above us. All green. And colours. So when this rain comes, we'll put the camera in the car. And then we'll go to the other side of the paddock so the rain will then be to my back. But that's the rain we got coming. It's not too far away now. You've got the windmills are starting to be overcome by rain. I've approximately probably two minutes to get this shot. Now the thing is though, this rain's gonna pass through. We're up on top of the hill, so I'm gonna save the battery to the GoPro, just in case we get a bit of lightning around the car. Then she's gonna be on. So it's pretty, pretty stoked here. That's essentially the shot I've got. I got the 645. Right underneath the canopy of the car. We're 90 degrees or 180 degrees to the rain. So got no chance of getting any raindrops here or minimal chance. And just before I put the camera on, the bolt came down on that right hand side just as I getting the camera set up. So I call myself the Truman Show because it's, uh, I believe someone's watching. Oh, one out there, it's too wide. Hopefully one straight down the guts would be nice. Oh, bolts everywhere now. To be expected. We'll just open up that shutter a little bit. But they did say there was a chance of flash flooding. I'd say there's probably little chance of being up on the hill.
Well, that's, that's a wrap for us today. Um, had a pretty productive day, went all the way, uh, what was it, Gumelling, Dowran, um, training, then down to Calabaran, Calabaran out to Meriden, Meriden to Bruce Rock, Bruce Rock to Shackleton, um, Shackleton back up to Calabaran, and then um, I went to go chase a bit of a cell just now, but it didn't really eventuate into anything. It looked something looked like it might do something on the radar, but um, it did nothing at all. So anyway, been a pretty good day. Saw some good structure, lots of rain, lots of rain as well, and it was moving so quick. Um, these storms are going at 70, 80 k's an hour. It just it was very hard to sort of stay in front. And now I'm going to head back home. So we've got about a two and a half hour drive, which uh, puts us at about... Uh, 10 to 12 to get home really want to get a full run tomorrow morning so it might only be a five hour sleep and then uh, back for another five or 10k a run in the morning so got to keep the fitness up have fun thank you very much for joining along uh, hopefully put this video together and and we can start this uh this vlog of storm chasing uh, hopefully a bit more productive season next year but um we never know we might get one or two chases left for uh, the early part of 2022 all right, guys, thanks again. We'll chat to you soon.